where does this fit in the pantheon of wonderful new airliners, the Dreamliner, yep. the 787, and, and the A380 also from Airbus? Well, you think about the rivalry between Boeing and Airbus. Back, uh, what, 15 years ago, Boeing decided to do the 787, which is very similar to this, and Airbus decided to do the A380 first, which is a much, much bigger jet. Uh, then Boeing got an enormous number of orders, what, 890 orders for the 787. Now, we know all the trouble they've had getting that plane launched, but that meant Airbus had to catch up. Because even though, this, even though the A380, the super, super jumbo, has done well with sales, they didn't have this plane. They didn't have the carbon fiber plane. They didn't have the, the fuel-efficient plane. They didn't have the fly-by-wire. They, they didn't have the 787 ready, so they're behind the game. They've had a few tr problems getting to this day, but okay. because the 787 has been so successful, Airbus is expecting to get a lot of orders. This looks like, like quite a spectacular success, and you know, it's an interesting example of how they've moved into the same space as the Dreamliner. Not that far behind, because of course the Dreamliner has been uh, dogged by the problems <laughs> with the batteries, right. but they've gone for a different battery technology, haven't they, Airbus? But the, but the 787 should have been launched in 2008, where, where, where it was, so it was years behind. So, uh, in some ways, Airbus has benefited from the problems that they've had at, uh, at Boeing. But you remember, they had problems with the A380 as well at Airbus. And this has had some problems as well. Um, but, you know, they've got the launch customer is Qatar, who's got orders for 80. You've got 33 customers and already looking at the A350. And, of course, the Paris Air Show, as you say, starts next week. And Airbus tends to be the one that leads the way in orders announced. It, you know, there's well, a bit of a game at the these days. Show, exactly. So it to, hadn't it? So, so the, the rumors are, will this plane actually be on the ground in La Bourget? We don't know, or I don't know yet. But this was the hope, if they could get it off the ground today, that we might see it at the Paris Air Show next week. As we know, the Dreamliner has had real problems with because mm. it has these lithium-ion uh, batteries, which is what you have in a laptop, very typically, but which get hot, as yeah. you know, if you ever worked for a long time with a laptop you directly really on hurt your knees. On the lap. Yeah, you, yeah. Get, you get burning yeah. eyes. But, and, and they've had real problems with those. But, of course, the, the big advantage is their light. Mm. That's one of the reasons why we have these. But I believe that Airbus has been more cautious and has gone for the more... Uh, Conventional. Nickel cadmium, yeah. cadmium batteries. And, and, and the, the thing is that, you know, even they said, look, you know, we, we will... They didn't want Boeing to do badly because of the batteries, because, obviously, this is a lighter battery, and they could have gone into that technology. Um, so the... You know, Boeing did find a way to fix it. They're back in the air now. Their orders are streaming. They're rolling off the, the assembly line now in Washington State. And let me just remind myself here, they've had um, 114 of those 787s built, and they're trying to get out, and they've had 50 deliveries. And so they're ramping up as well. So anybody now who orders an A350, they don't even get delivered till starting till next year. So I think Boeing really has an advantage here that the 787, even with the problems with the battery, have really taken... They, they've taken a step on Airbus, and so they're really going to have to catch up here.